So my passion is about building something. I've always loved the concept of creating something out of nothing, building something from the ground up. And in my case, it's about building businesses. Since I was a child, I've always ever wanted to be an entrepreneur. I love thinking about new business ideas, talking to people about what they do in their business, thinking about ways to improve their business. Always had that yearning to build a business of my own. I also have a really deep sense of a fear of failure. I would never do anything that I was immediately good at since I was a kid. Up until today, I still can't ride a push bike because when I was a kid trying to learn for the first time, I keep falling off and I refuse to let my parents put me back on that bike. And let me tell you, as an outdoorsy person who prides himself on having done things like a half marathon, summit at Mount Kilimanjaro, this is really, really lame and I really regret it. And I guess the wanting to be an entrepreneur has always been in my blood. My mum is now onto a 10th small business venture. Apart from owning a successful real estate business, most of these other ventures have failed. And I succinctly remember working in one of these ventures when I was a teenager. It was an art gallery selling Chinese replica of famous Australian paintings. <laughs> <laughs> there was this little shop in the side street of Alexandria. There was no foot traffic, no customers, no marketing plan, and I was just bored out of my mind. That business failed after about three months. Now I remember thinking to myself, how, why did my mum go about starting a new business when she had absolutely no idea how to actually run this business? I was determined that I would never let that happen to me because when I start my business, I would know exactly what to do, have all the skills required, and it'll be really, really successful. <laughs> so I had planned my entire education around this concept. At school, I, start, I did business studies and economics, and then when I went to uni, I did a combined commerce law degree. When I finished studying, doing all that, I thought I still didn't quite know just enough about how to run a business yet. So I convinced myself that I would go join Macquarie Bank. I'll do a couple of years of investment banking, learn all the other skills that I needed, and then I'll come out the other side, I'll be a bulletproof businessman. My business is going to be awesome. <laughs> so five years go by as an investment banker. I thought I was pretty smart, worked with some awesome people, worked in a couple of multi-billion dollar M&A transactions, sat alongside CEOs and CFOs of ASX 200 companies. I was ready to do my own thing and, and test it out. So I co-founded my first startup called Olio with a couple of mates. It was a website to recommend new online stores to, um, to users to uh, find new fashion uh, recommendations. 18 months later, it failed. So then I started asking myself, how did this happen? I had gone to school and studied how to be an awesome entrepreneur, and my company had felt it's just exactly the same way as my mum's crappy art gallery. <laughs> and then I thought, I thought a little bit further and realised something that mum probably knew a long time ago, and that is my strategy for studying to be an entrepreneur was fundamentally flawed. No one is ever going to teach you how to run and build a business. It's something that you have to do when you actually go and do it yourself. At this time, mum decided to start another mini venture, this time in healthcare. So I asked her, have you done your cash flow forecasting, your financial analysis and the like, to make sure that she's got all her cash sorted? She looked at me with just this complete blank for about 20 seconds. And in that moment, I kind of realised, aha. So small business owners like my mum have absolutely no idea how to manage the business finances. In fact, 50% of new businesses fail, and 40% of them because they can't manage their cash flow effectively. So from there, I quit, Vista, I quit banking and started Vista. Vista is an online software to automatically forecast cash flow for small businesses. We tell them how much money they'll have in the next 90 days, when the customer's going to pay them, so then they can proactively plan when they pay their suppliers. This allows them to see what's going to happen in the future so they can plan proactively. We know that running a business is really hard, so Vista's here to help small businesses spend less time worrying about the cash flow and more time doing what they love in their business. What's really cool for me is that whilst I'm living my passion building my own business, I'm helping other people live this passion as well. And obviously we're still failing and learning every day at Vista. But what I do have appreciated now is that when you're building something that you really believe in, something that you're passionate about, you accept these moments of failure. You see them not as fatal, but as little lessons that you find really valuable. The only thing that I wish for today is that these failures come quicker and earlier. So to everyone who wants to build something, I urge you to not wait and start today, because you'll never learn how to ride without getting on a bike. I want to leave you with something from my favourite author, Seth Godin. Today, not starting is far, far worse than being wrong. If you start, 
you've got a shot at evolving and adjusting to turn your wrong into a right. But if you don't start, you never get a chance. Thank you.